Hello everyone and welcome to my pedal mod video. This time we're going to be doing a Dunlop Crybaby GCB95. Uh, this particular one is the Revision E model and I've already prepared it so I have the board out and the way that you know which revision your pedal is is if you look at the board uh, right there on the bottom right it says revision G um, it may be in a different location on your board but just search the board front and back and it should tell you which revision you have and that will help you figure out what exactly you need to do so for the purposes of this video this is going to be strictly for revision G versions of the GCB95 Dunlop Wah and we're going to be doing the true bypass and the LED mod to this particular pedal. Um, the guy that asked me to do this actually brought it to me because the pedal, uh, the switch is broken. So um, he said, and, you know, rather than replacing the switch just by itself, um, he wanted to do the true bypass and LED mods to it. So that's what we're going to do. It involves putting a new switch in anyway, so let's get to it. I'm going to zoom in on the board and show you what you need to do for step one. Alright, so once you've um, dismounted the board assembly itself, which is fairly easy, all you need to do is uh, unscrew the two sockets. Unsc well, yeah, unscrew the two sockets, unscrew the rubber feet on the back plate, and there's a little uh, Phillips head screw right here that you need to take out and you just pop the ribbon connector off the top and the whole board should come out like this. So once you have it here with the ribbon connector facing that way <laughs> away from you, um, here's all you need to do. These parts in this area there's one one, two, three resistors, one, two looks to be capacitors, and one transistor. So these six parts here, one, two, three, four, five, six, are going to be removed. They're the buffer circuit, so they're going. So let's do that first. Okay, so with those six parts removed, you're going to need a couple of pieces of wire cut now and attached to this board. Um, about six inches of wire should be enough according to what I'm reading here but it basically just needs to be able to reach the switch from the board so you can approximate. Um, you're going to connect one wire to this uh, pad of Q3 which if you have the um, if you have the ribbon cable socket there on the top it will be the left pad of Q3 and you're going to connect the other wire to the bottom pad of R14 right here so one here and one here and uh, it will uh, it will assist you greatly if both wires are of different colors just so you know um, just so you know which one's which so I'm gonna get that done and we will be right back Okay, so as you can see, I've connected the wires. I've used a green for the uh, the uh, transistor hole and a black for the resistor hole. Um, that'll just help me differentiate between the two. The black will be a ground and the green will be a new input. And as you can see, I've twisted the wires together just to make everything a little cleaner. So, the next step is to get the LED ready. So basically all that is is you choose an LED of your size and color whatever choice you want and you hook up a current limiting resistor it'll vary depending on which LEDs you're using but basically you attach a resistor to the positive side of the LED positive leg and then try to cover everything up with heat shrink tubing so nothing will 
will touch. So I will get my LED ready and then I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so when you're finished your LED should look like this. As you can see the uh, current limiting resistor is attached to the positive leg of the LED. The negative leg I've just got curled there because I'm going to be attaching wires to them. Um, and you can tell which in, or which leg is positive and which leg is negative on an LED based on if you look at it this way you'll see it might be hard to see the way I'm holding it but one side is flat on the LED the flat side is the negative leg so hopefully that helps you so the next thing we need to do <coughs> is get some wires ready to attach to the LED and the board so LED needs positive and negative to function and we're going to tie into positive and negative on the board. So, um, what we're going to do is once again, this is for Revision G boards. If you look at the board with the ribbon connector on the top, as usual, you'll see this. Um, there's too many shadows here. Let me try to get better light here. Okay. So, with the ribbon connector on top, this is the um, the power adapter plug, and just below that, which is a little difficult to see here, but just below the power adapter plug, there's a resistor and a diode. Now, uh, if you attach a wire to the top leg of the resistor, and another wire to the top leg of the diode, you'll have a positive and negative connection, respectively. So I will do that, and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so when you're finished wiring the positive and negative, it should look something like this. Once again, the positive is going to be attached to the top leg of the resistor, the negative to the top leg of the diode and then you need some nice long wires to uh, attach what you need. So after that's ready, the next thing you should probably do is mount your LED in the holder. And in order to do that, you're going to need to drill the casing. As you can see, I've already desoldered the switch because it was broken anyway. But in order to do these, you're going to need a different switch anyway, so you're going to have to do that. Uh, so I removed the switch, and just above the switch, it's a little hard to see, there we go, there's a couple of stamps, one here and one where I've mounted mine. Um, it's uh, convenient that those are there because they're actually really good spots uh, to mount your LED bezel, which is what I've done here. I've just drilled out one and mounted the bezel. Now it's not going to be super perfect as you can see the the treadle covers a little bit of the LED but it is a super bright LED so it will definitely be noticeable so don't worry too much about that. So um, with that done we're going to install the new switch and get all these wires here uh, wired correctly to the switch and all the new wires that we've made from the board we're going to wire them to the switch and the LED um, as I will show you in just one moment. So in order to accomplish the uh, true bypass and LED mods for this you're going to need a switch like this which is a three pole three throw switch triple pole triple throw as you can see it has nine lugs. Now with the switch mounted like this where all the lugs are horizontal and the holes are vertical, that's very important, uh, this is how we're going to wire up the switch. So um, the wires that are still left in the enclosure, um, if you're using a Revision G board like me, there will be blue, purple, and green 
and the blue may be a single blue or it may be two blue wires connected together as this one is here um, that doesn't really matter as long as the blues are together so blue purple and green so the blue wire or wires are going to be connected to this lug here on the bottom left corner the purple wire is going to be connected to the center left right there and the green wire is going to be connected to the top left in addition to what the wires you've connected on the left side here you're going to need a jumper going from the top left to the bottom center so jump that connection the center lug will be the wire off the transistor from the board which in my case is a green wire that will go to the center the wire off the south end of the resistor that we took off on the board here which in my case is black will go to the top uh, top center sorry and on the right side here um, the bottom right lug will be the, uh, the the wire that you connected to the top of the diode which in my case is black that will go there and the center lug here is actually going to be the negative leg of the LED itself the the wire that we took off of the resistor here is going to be connected to the positive leg of the LED so um, I'm gonna make all those connections and I'll show you hopefully what it should look like alright so there you have it this is about what your switch should look like um, as you can see we've got the blue wires going to the bottom left corner purple to the left center and the green uh, to the top left there's a jumper going from the top left to the center bottom the center middle is the wire that we took off of the transistor hole here the center top is the wire we took off the resistor hole down here on this side the uh, bottom right is the wire that we took off of the diode the wire we took off the resistor here is going up to the positive leg of the LED through the, um, the current limiting resistor and the negative leg of the LED is going to the right center and top right is left open you may have to uh, turn your switch a little bit as you can see mine is turned slightly because of this little um, I don't know what it is this little lip here uh, you may find that you'll have to turn your switch a bit to get it to sit flush against the casing that's fine and uh, yeah that should be complete so I'm gonna reassemble the pedal oh the other thing I should mention is when you install a new switch normally switches have height adjustment or foot switches anyway normally have height adjustment so there's two um, nuts and the top nut is the one that attaches it the bottom nut is the one that adjusts the height so um, this switch right now is actually sitting too high in other words it's way too easy to switch it on and off so you might find as you uh, push the wah down toe down um, even if you're just trying to use the wah it switches off easily <laughs> So I'm going to have to uh, take this switch back out, adjust the height a little bit to bring it down so that it's just a bit harder to push it on. You don't want it to be too hard to switch it on, but you want it to be hard enough so that you have to intend to switch it on for it to work. So I'm going to adjust that, and then I'm going to put it back together, and I'll show you what it sounds like. So uh, thanks for watching this mod video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too difficult or at least i hope you don't find it too difficult 
There's a link in the description um, for the website that I went to for these instructions. So um, if you need to visualize anything, just go ahead and click on those links and they really helped for me. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.